Tropical Storm Kirk made landfall in St. Lucia on the evening of the 27th of September 2018, bringing with it strong winds and heavy rains that hammered the island. Citizens were up early assessing damage to property. Amongst them was Acting Prime Minister the Honourable Ezekiel Joseph, who at ground level visited disaster-prone areas to assess the damage for himself. We have one or two individuals who lost the roof, right? And I can say that Nemo, uh, they, are, they are mindful of, of that situation. And what I was told by the, the director, they will see what they can do to at least provide some short-term housing to these individuals. Um, so the reports are still coming in because we all know that the, 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 the clearance was given this, this afternoon at 1 o'clock. So it's for people now to go on the ground and do the assessment that is required. So I'm sure before the day is up and before they have a next debriefing meeting at 8 o'clock tonight. Mm -hmm. So by then, um, they will be in a position to determine exactly the severity of the damages as far as infrastructure is concerned. Soon, and of course residential homes and to be able to make an assessment as to how we can accommodate these individuals. But we're getting information coming in. Um, as far as schools are concerned, the only, well, the only report I received was that the Guzli Secondary School, the music room was damaged. Um, generally all the schools held during the storm. As far as roads and bridges, um, apart from falling branches, there wasn't any severe um, concerns, any concerns as far as this is concerned. Um, the airport is another one. The airport will be reopened. Um, both here, Nora and, and VG will be reopened. So at least we were able to, to weather the storm, if I can say that, drain as far as the other sectors are concerned. It's only agriculture that, that, that was severely damaged. The reality is that we have to prepare ourselves. We have to at least listen and take the advice that is given. And one we were told this morning that we never had the, 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 the clear to go out there and we had people out there um, not listening to the advice of the, the authority. It's, of, it's a concern to us. We heard that there were business places opening right, when there wasn't the green light to open. So these are some of the concerns we have. And I must say we have to review the, the, the act to, to make it a little stronger because right now, um, based on information, the NEMO has no power to prevent somebody from opening. And if you give an advice um, and they, con they, they go out and endanger other individuals, they will still call on government for support and, and they will be blaming the government. And I think we have to be stronger in our advice and people have to, 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 to listen and to, to um, take due consideration as to the advice that is given to them. The storm is expected to weaken through Friday night. For the Government Information Service, I am Johnny Bissett-Joseph reporting.